We bought this gaming PC for $1,000 from Costco. And in this video, we'll unbox it, test it out, and see if it's worth the money. All right, this box is massive. I'm just gonna go ahead and open it up and take it out, and we'll, we'll talk about the PC once it's actually out of this monstrosity of a box. All right, the first thing we got when I open the box up is this bag, this is Ziploc bag. What the, it's got like a bunch of, looks like some manuals and stuff. Yeah, it looks like we got our power cable, uh, some antenna things for our Wi-Fi, uh, a SATA cable, and then, a bunch of manuals. We got a quick start guide here. Free gaming mouse pad when you register. Ooh. Is that RGB? <laughs> the pamphlet? <laughs> Insert USB key to begin. What is this? It's like Chinese spyware. All right, the first actual PC item I see is this mouse right here. They have they have the tape on here, but it's, it's not even tape shut. Love it. Oh yeah, now that's a gamer mouse light right there. Ooh, those are some thick clicks. All right, next thing I see. Got our keyboard. Oh, I found I found our first our first RGB. It looks like the it looks like the keyboard lights up. I don't know. I hope it's really loud too. When you click the buttons. All right, I'm not 100% sure, but these these feel like membrane keys. So this is like a it's a fake mechanical key, mechanical keyboard. It's uh, trying to be a real boy, but no, definitely feels wrong. It's not it's not the worst keyboard I've ever felt, but it, it could be better. About the same same quality as the mouse. They're good enough but they're, they're not exactly pro gamer level. Oh, I got it. Oh, it's, wait, wait, I have boxes the right way, right? It's not even, these are the feet. <laughs> it's like, it's like on its side. Okay. Feels like a return. Definitely a return vibe. Plastic already peeling off. Yeah. Mm. Brilliant. Hmm. Where am I supposed to, oh, you grab it up here. It swings all the way out and just keeps going. Just keeps going. Keeps going all the way to back here. All right, in first impressions, I see a lot of empty space. And uh, I guess it's a good time to go over the specs of this machine. So let me let me pull that up. All right, so reading from the box, it looks like it's got Intel i5 13400F, 32 gigabytes of DDR5 memory, an RTX 4060, and a two terabyte NVMe SSD. It doesn't say anything about the, the power supply or any of the details of like, you know, what kind of motherboard it is or whatever, but that stuff's not like, quite as important. All right, and here's the uh, the back panel, by the way. I didn't I didn't open up this yet. Looks like we got a fan controller or RGB controller, one of the two, not really sure. Um, this is where you could put like extra storage, like a hard drive or an SSD if it wanted to come out, geez. All right, never mind. it wants to live in there, so it's not coming out. Uh, here's, <laughs> here's our power supply. I still can't tell how much power is in there. It doesn't really say anywhere, but I assume it's enough for whatever's in here. Actually, speaking of power supply, I love that they, I didn't, I didn't switch this. They just left it like this in the, in the on position. So either this is, this is sort of adding some credence to our, our little theory that this might've been a, you know, a return from someone to Costco. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I just find it hard to believe they would go through all the effort of like putting this all together, but they would leave this switch in the on position. I, something's not adding up. What's going on over here with this giant important sticker that's just like all wrinkled up and stuff and like not, yeah. not pointing to the right spot. like. Connect monitor here. Okay. I mean, all, all the little peelies, like this one's okay, but look at how like wrinkled up that is. And there's like one on the front here that's like totally fallen off already. So just all over the place, it looks like there's evidence of tampering. Yeah, this right here, especially. No! Oh. oh. That leaves... Look at the underneath of it. Oh, come Inside. on. <laughs> <laughs> it took it took the little fan girl with it. <laughs> it's got these nice thumb screws too. I, I like these ones where like you can unscrew it all the way, but it doesn't actually come out there. So it's like you can't lose them in any way. All right, last peely. Here we go. Ah! All right, but all the peelies are done. We got uh, everything plugged in. Everything was plugged in already, but I just wanted to like, make sure it was all good. Um, the first thing I noticed here, like in terms of airflow, I think it's going to be really good in here. Like we got plenty of fans going on. We got all the air happening up here with the CPU, although it's kind of a, I guess it's not that bad. It's, it's a little bit of a low profile fan, you know, especially with how, you know, deep this case is. They definitely could have done a little more with the cooler here to make it a little bigger. I have no idea how this CPU does with heat though. Like it could be totally fine for what the CPU needs. Um, but it's also possible that, especially if you wanted to like overclock it or something, you know, overclock your thousand dollar PC from Costco, uh, <laughs> you might want a bigger, a bigger cooler in there, but it should be all right. Yeah. And then, and then the actual case fans in terms of like their airflow, the, the front is a little confusing because it looks like it's pulling in air, but it, there's no like space here for it to do that from. So it looks like it's pulling air directly in from the top, which 
works, I guess. But you know, ideally you would want, <laughs> ideally you would want the air to come directly from the front uh, and pass through the whole machine. But that'll that'll do the job, I imagine. And then this will pull the the air out the back. If I get anything wrong in this video, listen, listen, listen. Zoom in. Can, 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 can. Shut up. It's not going in the video. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're in gamer mode. Let's go. I'm gonna press the power button. It's on the top of the case. Fancy. Oh, it did nothing. <laughs> the power switch isn't on. Huh? Oh, <laughs> wow, how could you do this to me? <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, look at all those RGBs. It smells like factory. <laughs> Ooh, oh God, <laughs> oh jeez. All right, well we got lights and uh, it looks like Windows is booting. Oh, look at that, I have a mouse and there's a, there's a Windows thing. Wow, that's kind of cool. No BIOS nonsense, no nothing. See, we're kind of getting into like why I think these pre built are like actually a pretty nice idea. Because uh, yeah, as much as I enjoy good old PC gaming, uh, I definitely do not like dealing with the, the Windows nonsense, the BIOS nonsense all the time. Sometimes it's nice, you know, you like, customize your overclock and all that fancy crap. But some people, they just wanna buy a machine, they wanna turn it on, they wanna have it work, and no nonsense. No, no, no press the delete key 50 times until you get to the BIOS menu, none of that crap. So, yeah, this is kinda seeming appealing despite the the weird issues we ran into earlier. Actually, the first thing to, to really point out about this PC, we'll, we'll see if this changes when we start playing a game, but this thing, this thing is dead silent. Like these fans, I don't hear them at all. Maybe it helps in it's raining. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's definitely like storming outside right now. So I could, I could, I could hear the rain more than I can hear the fans. We actually just noticed that the fans on our graphics card here aren't on like at all. I also don't see any RGB on it, although I'm not sure if it's supposed to have any. Uh, so, I mean, we're getting a video out of it. It's displaying to the to the monitor here, so it's doing so. Please don't. Finger <laughs> test. Oh, okay. You can see this <laughs> not spinning. Let's name your device Frank. If you didn't know, this is Frank. He's our lovely smoke and silicon mascot. Please subscribe. I don't know where this came from, but I just found this like little piece of a twisty tie like in the fan grill in the back here. I I don't know. I heard it like make a noise, and I was confused, so I just like saw this back there. I, where did it come from? I, whatever. All right, we're back. We finally installed everything. We got Windows up and running. It took forever, just cause, you, know, you know, Windows things and we were having issues with games, but it's okay. We got some games going. We're ready to game. All right, we're gonna start with uh, Morrowind here. We're gonna start with like some easy stuff, work our way up, see what this 4060 can handle. Oh, it's working. It's just very small. Nice. <laughs> Welcome to 4K on PC. <laughs> I love how we're in like a, a window in like the corner of the screen. Glorious. I don't care about your stupid cutscenes. Get me in there. Yeah! Looks like you, Jacob. I'm jacked. <laughs> yeah, that's one word for it. No, emaciated, more like. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> no, that's a run. All right, I think, uh, I think Morrowind's working fine. I could successfully slash this man. So I think we're good to go. I didn't expect that this would be a problem, but you never know. You might run into strange, unique little issues in uh, each special little old game you play. But let's launch up something a little more intense next. Let's do Mirror's Edge, PS3, 360 era game. Okay, never mind. I guess it doesn't want to launch. I don't know. It probably needs some DirectX nonsense that I don't feel like figuring out right now. Let's try uh, Uncharted Legacy of Thieves Collection. Oh, it's ramping up. There she goes. Looks like under 60 FPS, above 50-ish. I have it on like high settings, I think, at like 1440p with DLSS quality, I think. So it's, uh. It's not bad. It's about what I would expect, actually, for, for this game. It's pretty intense uh, for a 4060. Um, but I'm not really sure what to expect out of a 4060. I think my PC at home still has a, a 2080. So I think these, it's pretty comparable to that machine. But this is solid. It's very fun, very playable. I'm curious, what, what, are, we, uh, what are we bottlenecked by right now? Let's find out. Oh, it's definitely the GPU being, being capped. Because as you can see here, CPU is about under 50% usage. GPU is getting 94, 95%, which is a little... Interesting, it's less than 70 degrees Celsius, which is pretty healthy, I would say, for a GPU. So, uh, you know, and, and again, I want to reiterate, we're, we're, in, we're in a game, we're playing, you know, moving around, and it's, it's, you know, there's noise, I can hear air moving, but it's nowhere near ridiculous. Like, it's perfectly fine to, you know, have this next to you on a, on a desk or whatever, and it's not gonna, it's not, it's not gonna annoy the crap out of you. This is actually, like, a pretty nice uh, volume. Here I go! Oh! <laughs> All right. Well, this game's working perfectly fine. Uh, but this is about, I think, the level of performance you can expect out of modern games from a GPU, CPU setup like this. You know, your, your high 50, 60 FPS, 
uh, running at like 1440p-ish in the, the, the highest AAA games. All right, but let's really uh, push this GPU to its limits. Let's play some Cyberpunk. <laughs> yeah, this is what I remember about uh, this game. It just has infinite settings you can sit here and tweak and play with for 30 years. Um, I'm actually just gonna leave it on the default settings, uh, maybe crank the FOV a little bit. 80 FOV sounds horrifying. But yeah, let's just see how the defaults run. Gotta love that screen tearing. Uh, that's mostly just because I, I don't think I have VSync on and this monitor doesn't support uh, G-Sync. And I don't think the screen, you know, we can't do it with the screen recording anyway. So you're just gonna have to deal with that wonderful tearing. All right, but here we are, we are in the game and yeah, it's about what I expect. They seem to kind of pre-configure the settings a little bit for you. Like, you, you know, you'd imagine for most AAA games these days, it seems to be hovering around the 60 FPS mark. I bet if I had V-Sync on, it would be pretty locked, pretty close anyway. It seems to occasionally want to dip below uh, 60. But this is solid, man. I mean, this is, uh, this is really good. I mean, the computer's still not too loud. Let's check our system performance. Yeah, so this game is a bit more uh, evenly split. It does seem like the CPU's still um, not getting pushed as hard as our GPU. So maybe this combo at GPU and CPU isn't always the best. Although I, I bet depending on the game, you could definitely push the CPU, get to like Act 3 and Baldur's Gate 3, and I'm sure uh, <laughs> I'm sure this CPU will be uh, begging for mercy. In fact, you know what? I actually even, um, I went on uh, PC Parts Picker, and I, I set up a PC that was like relatively similar. It's sort of difficult to make one exactly like this because you're not going to be able to find this case. You're not going to be able to find maybe this motherboard, only maybe you can. I, I can do more research now that I know what it actually is now that we've taken it out of the box. But overall, it's pretty tough to build a PC uh, for $1,000 with these exact parts. You can do it. I think I was able to do it around like 950-ish, but it's like you're spending $50 less and you have, to, you have to get your own Windows key. That's, you know, something. You have to get to get your own mouse and keyboard if you don't already have one. I just think it's hard to beat $1,000 for a PC that's this good. But let me know what you think. I'm really curious. I'm sure, I'm sure you all have very passionate opinions about how you could have built a 4090, <laughs> 13, 9,000 K CPU PC for $400. But overall, I think it's a pretty good value. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please let me know. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe, like all the comment stuff. Always appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.